when Shield HP implants were spoiled at FanFest in 2017. I'm not sure that was the first time. But anyway, I remember thinking they sounded like fun, and that when they finally came out, um, I wanted to make some frigates with polarized weapons and then use the Shield HP implants to adjust the tank back to something that's uh, sort of in the realm of acceptable and take all the all the benefit as added DPS. Um, all of the clips in this video are from before the most recent patch, so uh, Rage Missiles, Void Blasters, and so on, um, have all gotten a damage bump, 15%. Um, which in theory should make this strategy even better. Um, but part of the reason it works so well is that people don't expect it. Um, it does seem like there's been all a move towards more buffer tank. Um, still active reps, of course, but like a recognition that uh, you gotta have buffer to catch those reps. Still, I think this concept would be fine and it would, it would do 15 more percent damage than it does in these clips. Um, always enjoy a fight with the Fed Navy Comet and something T1. They're fun to bring down. Here I wanted to fight two Tormentors. I only got one of them. Um, but a Tormentor is really a terrible matchup for uh, something fast that shoots rockets and can orbit tight. He really, he just can't get any damage on me at all. He could warp off, of course, because he's not pointed, but um, almost nobody notices. Very strong players will. Um, if they're not also killing you, but even even then, like if they think they're gonna get you, often they hang around even though they don't have to because they think it's gonna go their way. Especially fighting in T1 stuff against faction stuff or pirate stuff. Um, this guy actually killed me uh, minutes before this fight. I did not get a good spawn. I did not pilot well. Um, Daredevil's, of course, no worm, but very serious brawler. He should be able to win this, but uh, he's he's flying a no-point MWD AB fit, and for sure he should be able to get on top of me and blast me to death, but he uh, got crossed up. I think maybe he turned on his AB when he should have done the MWD, and then while he was cycling it off and getting the MWD turned on, he got killed. Um, but it's a really startling amount of DPS. Uh... I'm doing everything with sort of a zoomed in view. Someone observed on um, one of my videos that they never got to see the spaceships. And so for these fights, I tried to show off the Condor. It's a cool hull. Shield animations are cool. It does make it a little bit harder to fly. And then here's the Daredevil's ability. Show it up to see what he can do. Um, because the weapons are polarized, there are no resists. And so raw HP is all you've got to work with. Um, the tank is the medium shield extender and two uh, field extenders and rigs. Um, so once the shield goes, you really have almost nothing left. Um, you know, a, a hit or two. And so here I, you know, try to mitigate some of the damage, but executioners are pretty thin. Um, I think this setup has 298 DPS. Uh, Pre-patch, um, so it's obviously pretty hard to tank that for long on executioner. Here my opponent cleverly goes double web. <laughs> well, I'm double web, and I'm trying to get out to range, but I can't do it. So I line out. He's still got a lot of EHP left in that uh, hull. FNCs have a lot there, so I've got to leave. Um, I did not do great against Fed Navy Comets in this. I fought a bunch of them. Ah, a couple kills, but uh, I lost more than I won, which makes sense for a Condor um, picking a fight with a Fed Navy Comet. I fought a couple of Worms. Worms, of course, uh, big tank and its buffer and the DPS is sort of unmitigatable. Um, certainly the drones can find you anywhere within a 60 kilometer sphere. Here I misclick when I try to align out. Too slow. Now there's not enough EHP left. 
go down. I did not get a worm in this fit. Um, it's possible you could do it now with 15% damage increase. It's still real uphill. The Condor's not exactly a sturdy ship, even with um, Nirvana implants and. This fight, um, I've got a slasher and RFF. Um, RFF's already fit, so happily I'm able to get on top of him before he gets very far away. He could warp off, but of course he's in a faction frigate and I'm in a T1 attack frigate and he's got a buddy. So, um, he's probably feeling pretty safe. But he loses his point right here, he goes out to 25 kilometers. I line out. RFF goes down and then unpointed, I leave before he notices and uh, can hold me down for the next guy. If you want to see the details of the fit, coming up next. If you've not seen it, I highly recommend T-Sky's Guide. It has a wealth of information about frigate 1v1s in low sec, um, common fits, win rates. Uh, it's a really great way to start to get an idea of the meta if you're not familiar with it. And I think he does a pretty good job of describing what people fly. Um, one of the things that always struck me about this is the Condor has the absolute lowest win rate of any T1 frigate. Um, I guess excepting the non-combat frigates. But that also makes it the most engageable frigate. Um, of course, you've got to come up with a fit that can actually do something once you engage. Um, but I like seeing, I like seeing this because I think it makes it real easy for people to decide to to come to you or to hang out when you're coming in. Um, there's a separate page for each of the ships. Condor does not score well. 12th win rate, 8th in popularity. Um, and you really, you see, you do not see these much. Um, I think the Kiting Condor was more common a couple of years ago. Um, they nerfed light missile damage at some point, and it really, it's a very, very sad little trickle of damage. It's maybe 70 DPS. Um, and you don't see them much, but I think maybe this is still what people expect. Um, you can do this. Uh, Blight Wretch did one with uh, a Newt in the utility high. So sort of rocket, buffer shield tank, Newt. Um, but then you look over here at uh, how does it match up and the answer is very poorly. It matches up very poorly with um, all sorts of T1 frigates, but also, of course, the faction frigates and the pirate frigates. Um, so again, super engageable. Uh, and then the trick is coming up with a fit that can win the fight once you've got it. The Polarized Nirvana fit, I'm using, of course, Polarized Rocket Launchers, Public Fleet Medium Shield Extender, AB double web, double ballistic, and then the two defense field extender, the accelerator, if I turn off the implants for a second, gets us to 304 DPS, which is of course very respectable for a Condor, um, but 3.27 KEHP, which is really thin um, if you use the Nirvana implant set. Um, together with uh, SM706, you get, I think, 60% more? I'm not perfectly remembering the percentages. I think it's 55 for the Nirvana. And then the rocket and rapid launch, um, you know, add some DPS and with 5k EHP before the most recent patch um, that buff T2 ammo, this, this number was, uh, 298 DPS, um, and so that's what you'd see in the video, but this is the fit, um, it was fun to fly. Thank you for watching.